get by It resides between my eyes Walked through the fire Came out better on the other side See lights like a peach If you find the sand And right now I'm feeling like a hundred grand You are listening to Inspired Insider With your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise Dr. Jeremy Weiss here, founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs like the founders of P90X, Atari, people like Jay Steinfeld. Uh, check out his interview. He started Blinds.com in 96 with $3,000, grew it to $200 million, sold it to Home Depot, but not without overcoming a lot of big challenges. Uh, this episode is brought to you by Rise25, which I co-founded with my business partner, John Corcoran. Rise25's mission is to connect you to your ideal prospects and referral partners. Uh, We do it in three ways. We help people launch and completely run your podcast, um, get it distributed across 11 or more different channels so you can just show up, talk, and we do everything else. This is probably the single best thing I've done in my business and my life because I've even made great friends out of it. Um, The second is we do live in-person VIP days and receptions all over the country with top entrepreneurs. Third is we do a done-for-you lead generation service where we manage a consistent outreach to your ideal clients and referral sources. This is not paid traffic, by the way. Uh, And Jason will talk about some of those social media channels. Since this requires a lot of humans to do the work, we have limited bandwidth. So if you're interested, go to rise25.com and contact us. This is a long time coming. I'm excited. Today, we have Jason Miles, who's founder of Pixie Fair. Uh, He started a family business with his wife at the time called Liberty Jane at their kitchen table in 2008. And in 2013, they launched Pixie Fair, which has become the world's largest online marketplace in their niche. The site averages 50 to 60,000 transactions a month. They've had over 2 million of their patterns downloaded. Um, People describe Jason's wife, Cinnamon Miles, as the Vera Wang of the 18-inch crowd. We will talk about what that means and what their business is. In 2014, Jason retired from a 20-year career in nonprofit management to work on the business full-time. So if you think you've been doing something for a long time and you can't change, Jason will say you're wrong. They also started So Powerful, which is a nonprofit organization focused on creating purposeful products at a sewing cooperative in Zambia. It's at sopowerful.org. He has several best-selling books published by McGraw-Hill on social media, um, Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest, you name it. Um, He's also one of the most popular e-commerce instructors on Udemy. I think the last time I checked, Jason, there were over 17,000 students you can check out that stuff and everything at winningonshopify.com. Jason, thanks for joining me. Thanks, man. It's great to be here. I want to point people towards a couple of your sites first. Sure. So everyone should check out winningonshopify.com. Yep. Um, sh- everyone should check out pixiefair.com. It's P-I-X-I-E-F-A-I-R-E.com. Um, I mean, the site's beautiful. You could just see the layout and what you guys have built is an amazing marketplace. So congratulations on that. Um, My last question um, is about the nonprofit. I just want you to talk a little bit about that because that, I mean, you've been doing that for 30 years. Um, But before I, but is there anything else on the winning on Shopify.com that we should point out before I want you to talk about the nonprofit? No, I mean, I, you know, it's obvious self-explanatory. Just go okay. check it out. If you're into, into my trainings or following me or whatever, feel free to, you know, connect. I do all the programs and coaching stuff is available mm-hmm. there. Yeah. The nonprofit work is yeah. something that, um, I mean, I've dedicated my whole life to, to nonprofit. I, my graduate degree is an MBA with an emphasis in international nonprofit management. And it's just been my whole career in our specific case for the charity that we run, I was in uh, Zambia, which is a country in southern Africa area, and in the capital city of Lusaka. And we had a down day in our schedule. This was when I worked for a different charity. And the person said, well, we don't have anything today, but we really like this local school. It's in this really desperate slum. And we don't fund them with money, but when we can, we give them some products. And we have some blankets we were going to take to them today. If you wanted to go with us, you could. And I was like, sure, of course. So first of all, the 
place it's called Nome Bay compound is um catastrophe hmm. i mean it's what to do you go mean? there yeah it's hard to, for me to, to picture to go there well envision um first of all envision 150,000 people half of them are under 15 hmm. in inside an area that's just a few you know a very small area all dirt roads all shanty little buildings um and um it's a disaster the they're all kids because most of the middle-aged adults have all died of hiv aids tb or malaria mostly hiv aids i mean the aids pandemic destroyed that country and the way it works in a country like that it's like 13 million people but like you say at like at the 13 million person level let's say 13 percent have hiv but then if you go to the capital city it goes up a lot then if you go into this slum area the percentage is staggering so so and it's just a just a very hard place to to go and and um so generally speaking, like they, what the phrase is, is very, very few Mazungus, white people, ever go into. I was going to say, you probably stick out a bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, in fact, I've had career missionaries who were in Zambia for 30 years say to me, we've never gone into Nombe compound. Mm. And I uh, just, so anyway, so we go in and we, we meet with this teacher lady. Her name's Esther. She's got 400 and 75 kids in a partially completed church building and it is chaos i mean it is literally like there's first grade over in this corner second grade over in that corner it's all just moms teaching these kids the moms are are marginally literate and most most of the adults in the community are, are not they don't read and write they're not literate um and so but they sang for us they danced for us they made me dance <laughs> for them. And um, so here's the critical moment, which started our charity. Uh, and half the kids are HIV positive. Wow. And two thirds of the kids are orphans. And they live with their aunties or their grandmas. And uh, so the critical moment was we did the song and dance portion of the program. And then they we break up. The kids are in their classes. And we walk over and they introduce us to the moms of the school and the moms of the school have made costume jewelry like out of you know like just the plastic beads like the and they're hanging on nails on this cinder block wall and they say the moms are trying to raise money so that one day we'll have our own school Hmm. and And we look at the costume jewelry and there were a few of us in our group. And in between, uh, you know, between us, we just said, let's buy all the jewelry. <laughs> let's buy it all. So, you know, we said to Esther, how much are these a piece? I'm like, oh, you know, a dollar a piece, whatever. So we, we said, we'll take all of it. So it's like $70. They start dancing and doing like this African. And, and I just broke. And uh, it was this this moment of clarity in my life where and I, and I could go into why, but my own backstory and stuff. But, yeah, why? Um, well, to be blunt is because my mom raised us as a single mom. My dad took off when I was nine mm. without a trace. He just disappeared. And I remember my mom struggling so much. I remember my mom figuring out how to find a job and and you know when you're nine years old you're just like I just wanted to help her right so I'm standing there I'm seeing these moms in this you know it hit deep for you it just it yeah. was just like I'm I'm one of these kids hmm this is one of my mom this is my mom yeah and and I'm sitting there thinking oh I I got to do something about this I don't know what so I just said to that lady after the program, hey, uh, do you have any donors that help you? No. Any local donors from, from Lusaka? No. And no, none, none from America or Canada? No. 
I said, well, do you have email? She said, yeah, I have an email. And I said, could I email you? And then she so, has an email. Yeah. Yeah. So she had electricity. I mean, it, you know, it's, it's interesting. And now she has a smartphone. Dude, she's sending me photos, <laughs> videos from now we have. OK, so fast forward to today. We have a, a sewing cooperative that employs 20 moms with great wages and they make reusable feminine hygiene pads and school uniforms. And we have a soap cooperative and it employs four people and we're really growing that right now. That's our focus. And they make soap and sell it locally and give it to the kids in the school. And then we have a 10 acre farm and that employs people and they make food for the kids for lunches. And but anyway, so her and I worked that out and over the last 10 years we've just grown and grown and grown. So powerful.org is the mm. charity and it's a passion of ours and are we the the kernel of the idea is creating jobs for the moms and dads of that community that create that empower academic success by what they do so the school uniforms was our first program and that empowered the academic success of the kids they ended up getting a beautiful school building a miracle happened um and now they've got a beautiful school and sewing cooperative soap cooperative a farm and uh, 10 years later, I look back and I say, this is the most meaningful thing I've ever done. Hmm. It will be our legacy. And as long as we're, as long as we're around, we're going to be figuring out how to help moms in Zambia and, and beyond maybe one day, um, you know, help improve the lives of their kids. And uh, so that's our passion. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that. That's remarkable. Yeah. Um, so are there videos of this or anything like that that we can put on the post maybe? Sure, um, sure of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For so powerful so powerful and we've um, got a, in the resources section, we've got videos. Hmm. Um, you can check us out, of course, on Facebook. There's a lot of content on Facebook. You will see uh, a ton of beautiful purses being made. Hmm. One of the ways in which we got donors involved was in 2014, we made this program called the So Powerful Purse hmm. Program where we basically have, and this is, sorry to weave it all, maybe this will weave it all together, I don't know, but basically we went to all of our e-commerce customers and we said, would you do us a favor? Would you make a purse hmm. for a girl in Africa? And um, it, we didn't know if they would, but it totally turned into this program where the seamstresses from nine countries around the world right now make these purses. Hmm. They get shipped to Zambia the seamstresses in Lusaka make reusable hygiene pad and pads, and then they also make soap. And it's all put together, and it's given to girls in health class. And the girls take a pledge to stay in school all month, even on their period, if they get a purse. Because their tradition is they stay home from school when they're on their period because they don't have any product. Hmm. And so this solves that problem. It gives girls back on average six weeks of school a year. And it creates jobs along the way. And so, yeah, so that's, you can check all that out on sopowerful.org. And if you're into that kind of thing or you want to learn more about it, for sure, check us out. And yes, yeah, our, our overhead rate last year, by the way, was 1.35%. Because basically what we do is Cinnamon and I pay all the bills out of our e-commerce company. Hmm. And all the donors on the So Powerful side know that. They know that we're the the sort of, I guess what you might call anchor donor. And so that's how it all weaves together. And so we've kind of woven it together into our e-commerce mission. And so our, our customers on the e-commerce side like us because what they know we do that. And the donors on the charity side think we're cool on that side because we're e-commerce people and we're using our business for good. Hmm. So, yeah. Everyone check out, it's sewpowerful.org. Uh, Jason, thank you. It puts things in perspective in life in general, right? When, no doubt. Yeah. When you hear that, I mean, I'm just hearing it, and you actually experienced it you know, firsthand. So, Yeah. It's, uh, well, thank you, fun. man. I really, really appreciate the chance to share all my crazy stories and, and uh, experiences. Um, by the way, total side note. Um, Rise 25, I totally want to check out because I need to learn more from you on all of that stuff. And actually, your content on your site and your promo f before the podcast both caught my attention. Cool. And I totally want to learn more about that. So awesome. we'll have to connect. Yeah. We will connect. And when you're in Chicago, we'll connect too. So Awesome. Thanks, Jason. Really appreciate it.
Yep, happy to be. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a beach if you find the sand. And right now, I'm feeling like a hundred grand. 